whale of a tale to tell you lads A whale of a tale or two About the flapping fish and the girls I've loved On nights like this with the moon above A whale of a tale and it's all true I swear by my tattoo As a man, have you found it difficult to be in a relationship while you've been in? Yeah. <laughs> I've tried. I think it was like a year. Some people can do it, some people can't. I hate the long distance relationship shit. If I'm in a relationship with you, like, I want you with me. Like, we go do this together. We building this life together, you know? Yeah, son. Yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So, yeah, there's always going to be temptation. It's tough. I've seen a lot of people, they lose something great because they're either deployed, they're just always on the go, they're always at work. And I mean, granted, that can happen in a real job. You're working a nine to five, you got to work overtime. I've seen people like lose the love of their life because they're like, well, I can't deal with you being gone. Like seven months, that's a long time. What am I gonna do for seven months? Be loyal. Nowadays, it's hard for people to be loyal. These hoes ain't loyal. You can tell you, being a man in the military, we're always gonna get females coming at us. Really? This is a man's word! No matter how ugly you are, I'm <laughs> dead serious. And they talk to you and you tell them you're in the military. Let's go. First of all, I am very disappointed in you. Very. Not all females. Not all females. Not all. Say, I didn't say all. A dude might be looking for a chick in the military because they, you know, they getting paid every first or fifteenth. What does that have to do with anything? Because some dudes, that's like that stability. You're working government job. If you get a dishonorable discharge, it's gonna be incredibly hard for you to find a job. I it mean, depends on what you're getting discharged from. One of my friends, uh, he got kicked out for smoking weed. I was gonna clean my room until I got high. He's making. It. Great money. More than he made in the military. He went into the interview, they were like, oh, what you get kicked out for? Oh, I got kicked out for smoking weed. Even though you got that on your record, it's like, that might not be you. You might have did something stupid once, but you learn from that. If you get caught for anything entirely, prescription stuff, military has zero tolerance. You can get kicked out automatically. But I have known people that have gotten DUIs or an ARI and they're still in the military because their chain of command backs you up. Because of like their worth ethic, because of like their job. I don't smoke anymore. Uh, since. you need not smoke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, haven't, I haven't smoked since I've been in, but I, I don't like the zero tolerance thing and ARI, you get two strikes and then you're out. Do I think it depends on each Yeah, because it's like, all right, I get in trouble because I was sitting in my house on the weekend smoking, you know, a little joint. They didn't do anything, ate, slept, but this person, he was driving drunk, got in a car accident, could have had a chance to kill people, could have killed himself, but you're gonna give him another chance? And I was sitting at home, just chilling? Fuck that. I think it should be the other way around. This shit is stressful. On the weekend, if you want to smoke a joint, you should be able to. Well, that's why people consume adult beverages. Thank God for me, Harley Joe. I don't feel alcohol. It was stress. Well, nothing it's can heal stress. Thing. Sometimes when people drink, they get even more stressed out because of the shit that's going on around them. Why is the rum gone? Well, that just depends on the person. I know when to say no. Uh -huh. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying, like, I, don't, I never smoked a day in my life. I never was a fan of the way it smelled regardless. So I don't feel any way towards it. I don't think that people should... I mean, you're an adult, you make your own decisions at the end of the day. Like, there's always two sides to it because that creates a debate of whether or not weed should just be legal in general. Times have changed, people don't know how to act, it's That's, a twofold thing. On the weekend, if I don't have duty, let me smoke. I'm not gonna hurt anybody. Most of the people who smoke, they're not gonna hurt anybody because they're gonna be hungry and tired. Put the shorty down! I'll give you Funyuns and Cheetos. And just want to chill. We love a tale and it's all true, I swear by my tattoo. Ahoy! Ship boat to starboard bow! A lot of married couples in the military have open relationships. More than you think. I you believe When they're together, they look perfect. And then you feel, realize that they're, they're so good together because when Chief goes on a cruise, he's allowed to do whatever the hell he wants to do as long as he doesn't bring anything home. Wife can do whatever she wants to do too as long as when he gets home, 
She don't have nothing, and there's nobody in the house. That works for some some people. Power to them. It's funny you say that because 